Hey there everybody, Steve at Chief Skills, and today I am going to show you how to build this little shed dormer on this like Cape Kyle style house. If we look at it in glass house, you can kind of see it's a room tucked in under the roof. And you can do this pretty much 90% of it anyway, if not almost 100% using auto rebuild roofs. And there's a couple of caveats, but I mean, generally speaking, you can do this without any manual work whatsoever. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So let's get started. OK, so here I got your basic one story, just 30 by 40 structure. I'm going to put a uh, garage door right here in the middle. This is something to snap to, but I'm going to just copy these walls to get started here. Go control C, go to my second floor, which I've already built, but it's just a blank floor. I'm going to go control Alt V for paste and hold position. I'm going to delete this little garage here. Then I'm going to change these to gables. You can just do that right down here on the bottom toolbar. Or if you have like a hotkey like I do, I could just go CG and change it to a gable. And then I am going to open this room. Actually, I'm going to op open my build roof dialog right here. And you get to that by going right here and just double clicking right here. So here's my build roof. I'm going to change the roof to 12. Overhangs are fine. I'm going to change this to zero. I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to open the second floor room and I'm going to make it just 12 inches. So basically, it's a little 12 inch knee wall on the second floor. And if we look at that, you'll see that it is basically a one story building. If you look at it in glass house, you can see the for the ceiling is within a foot of the uh, of the um, floor. So what do we do next? Well, the next thing to do is to take your exterior wall tool again. And I'm going to right click and drag and then let go and do this in continuous mode and then pull this out. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm just eyeballing this. And this and just line this up here. And then I'm going to put a control B and break this wall right here and pull it back. And then I am going to change this to a gable and change this to a gable. And then I'm going to open this room. Actually, I'm going to open this and change this wall right here on the roof tab to 412. Actually, I'm going to open this first and put this at default height. And then I'm going to open this wall and change it to a 412 pitch. And if we take a look, you'll see you basically have your little dormer built right there. And that didn't take long at all. So let's look at the rest of this, what we have to do. So now we only have a floor here that's 12 inches tall. So I'm going to delete this wall. First, I'm going to open my build roof and turn auto rebuild roofs off. Then I'm going to delete this wall, open the room and make it default by just clicking the little wrench. And then you'll see these lines up here, which show that's where the ceiling and the sloped ceiling intersect at eight foot or whatever the default ceiling height is. The next thing I'm going to do is grab my interior wall tool here and draw a wall. And then I am going to dimension this and I'm just going to make this three foot eight. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to reflect it about the center of right here. Maybe pull that all away. I'm going to copy this and reflect it about the center ridge here and pull it down. Then this is where you want to do your roof cuts wall at bottom. So you get a nice looking cheek wall in your dormer. So I'm going to click on this wall. I'm going to go control B and break it right here. Double click that and say roof cuts wall at bottom. We don't need it to cut here, but we do need it to cut here. So here I'm going to click here, control B, break that wall, open it. Roof cuts wall at bottom. 
And if we go inside here and we take a camera view, you'll see it came together just beautifully. So the next thing I want to do is look at it on the outside because Chief does not do a good job right here automatically. So I'm going to go outside here. And as you can see, there's gaps. So I'm going to double click this wall, go to the structure tab and say balloon through ceiling above. And for some reason, don't ask me why it fixes it. Right here, balloon through ceiling above. There must be a good reason. I'm just not sure what it is. And your dormer is done. The only thing else you would really have to do here is, and you can see here, this uh, is it's kind of clipped because I started with a 12 12 pitch. And um, if you want to get rid of that and make it perfect, I would just delete this roof, hit your Q key and open your roof dialog here and make this 412 and go Q. And I probably could have avoided this if I would have just thought about it a little bit more. And then just go here and say minus 15 or whatever. And here minus 15. And then we'll look at it the outside and we're looking good. And then what I wanted to talk to you about was these cheek walls. And to make these look good on plan, what I like to do is make my oh, new wall type. So I'm going to hit define. I'm going to hit copy and I'm going to go siding four, which it is cheek wall. And then only thing I'm going to do here is remove these fills. I'm going to say use background color. And the same here, just use background and I'll just give it 100%. And then I'm going to delete all these wall types. Uh, I'm going to give the outside one a tiny. Well, I think I'll give it a big hatch dash. Then these will be nothing. No line, no line, no line. And then this one here, I will make the small dash line. Click OK. And this is what you'll see now on plan view, which I think looks a lot more realistic. And you got this problem right here. And I'm not sure with the wall edit tool, I might be able to pull this over like that. And that'll fix that up. But so here I'm going to make this wall the cheek wall. Right there. And Put some windows right here. And take a look and we are pretty much done. Looks pretty good. It didn't take long. And I think for, you know, use the power of the software and try to use um, the auto roof tool as, as much as you can until you can't use it anymore. And uh, that's a good quick lesson on how to do a kind of a modified cape cod with a cantilevered second floor. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to check out my website mychiefskills.com and pick up my screen porch library and check out my YouTube page Chief Skills for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.